Okay, what's up guys? I'm gonna be teaching you how to do these swirl taps. I mean, that's what I call them. I have no idea what they're actually called. If anybody knows the real name of them, just comment down below, but I just call them swirl taps. This is what they look like right here. You're basically just catching it and throwing it another full rotation. The best way to get the hang of these is do the one and a half swirls. So when you're going for a swirl, throw the can, catch the tama at one and a half flips. If I throw the can, I catch the tama so it gets out. If I throw the tama, I catch the can. Don't do the long swirls like this or else you won't have enough time to, um, to you know, tap it. So a good way to practice this is get out of it like that and then reverse it as if you were going to get out of see from here you can get out of it just go bring the momentum and swing it and then throw this for one full rotation like that that's what you're going to be doing when you're tapping i mean it looks like it's tapping but it really isn't you're going to go like that just practice that going like that once you have that, you put it all together. Go one and a half, throw one full rotation. Catch the same thing when you when you throw it like that. You catch the same thing. It's pretty simple. All you got to do is get the hang of it. I mean, the trick isn't really hard. You just need a lot of practice. I honestly don't even remember learning the trick. All I remember is showing my friend Sammy one time, um, adding another uh, throw to it, and he was all impressed. But I never really remember learning it so yeah guys just practice